Hey, good to have you here today as we get to discuss Edmodo. I'm excited that uh, you want to use Edmodo. For this video, most of you have already been using Edmodo and you're realizing that you can't get in the way you used to. That's all right. Nothing's been lost. Everything is still good. You just need a school code. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to get your school code and how to access new Edmodo. On your screen, you'll see Edmodo like you're YouTube. It says Edmodo. Normally, you would type in your username and your password and you would continue working. What we've had to do for um, SIPA and COPA compliance, we've had to create our own private label, which is great because then everything will be housed under Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. And you'll see here now it says Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools Edmodo. And up here in the URL, you'll see it says CMS K12 NCUS.edmodo.com. That'll be the new login for you and your students. If you do go to the other Edmodo, once we get this set up, you will be transferred here as well. So, how do we get in? You were probably transferred quickly to this page and clicked on this video to watch. On this page, you will see it talks about Edmodo for Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. You've not lost any of your data, everything is still good, and you do need to receive a code. To receive a code, whether you've used it or not, you have to go through these four steps. First off, we're going to talk about the teacher roles and responsibilities. Then we're going to talk about the parents' roles and responsibilities, the students' roles and responsibilities, and then getting digitally signed the CMS Edmodo Terms of Service. Once we receive that digitally signed Edmodo Terms of Service, then you will get your school code. So I'm going to take you briefly through this so you understand how to do that and how to put your code in. So follow me along, please. At the bottom of this, once you've read this, you'll say, I'm, continue, I'm ready to continue on to the teacher roles. On this page, you're going to be reading about the areas of interest that have to do with the terms of service and the privacy um, consent form, the privacy policy. So you need to go through, read this. There will be um, papers that need to be filled out uh, for those that are appropriate. Then you will go on to the parents' roles. Here there will be a video describing the role of the parents and what they need to do. And finally, at the end, you will come to the student roles and responsibilities, where there's a short lesson, probably no longer than five minutes, where we'd like you to discuss the importance of this with your students. All that you will have to go through. At the end, it says, continue to the CMS Edmodo Terms of Service. On the CMS Edmodo Terms of Service, you will have to fill out this form, this form will immediately email us here in Instructional Technology and we will get you your code within 24 hours. Our hope, goal, and desire is that you have little to no downtime working with your students. Once you get this code, you will then go back to Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools Edmodo. You will type in your password or your username and password like normal. I have to remember my password. There we go. Let's hope that one works. There it goes, and it says, what is your school code? At this point, you will type in your school code that's given to you and click Verify. This will pull all of your information in from Edmodo and drop it right here. You will have not lost anything at all. We hope that you will continue using Edmodo, and we look forward to uh, all the learning and excitement that is going on in and around your classroom. Have a great day.